Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about database control commands and they are very useful commands. And uh, these all commands, we are going to go through each of them, read a definition and perform some demos. So for, from here, if you want to stop the video, take a look uh, what is uh, these uh, commands are, you can take a look. Otherwise, uh, you are going to uh, see all these commands in action uh, uh, right here. So go to the Azure portal and here we have our Azure Data Explorer cluster. Click right there and then uh, you go to the databases. In the databases I have Tech Brothers DB and I have TBDB. So there are two databases I have here and then I have zero bytes. What I want to do I can open any of them and then once I open it I can go to the query right there and then it's going to open a query but I will be opening a open in a web UI. So once I open that it's going to open a new tab here. Any other uh, queries I can paste it here and work with them. So I already had uh, uh, some of these commands uh, copy and pasted uh, so I'm gonna take from there and paste it right there okay so they came right there now uh, what we have there first of all uh, we are going to work with the show databases um, show databases uh, is going to return a list of all the databases on a cluster so if I will type right there and uh, just select this and execute uh, so you will see it is going to return us a list of uh, uh, it is returning us a table. See right there, this is a table, and it is uh, giving us the list of uh, the database names. So we have TBDB and TechResDB. So these are the name of them. Then it is uh, giving us other information such as version and which one is current. Uh, as of now, as uh, I'm connected to the TechResDB, that's why I say uh, is the current. Uh, the other one is false. Uh, okay now here read write and then you have data base ID you can take a look on that one so if you want to list all the databases on your cluster you are gonna say sh dot show databases that's the command you will use if you are interested to see the only information related to the current database in this case if I'm a tech resistor DB and I would like to see the information only for that database then I'm gonna say show dot show database it will show me all the information related to the database I'm, I have selected. So now if you want to see all the databases, uh, you can also see right there dot show cluster databases. So it is going to show you uh, the information on those uh, uh, databases as well. So uh, pretty much same thing what you have seen uh, dot show databases is uh, just you can pass a cluster and uh, then it is going to show you a list of the databases. So see here return a uh, a table showing all databases attached to the cluster and to which their uh, user invoking the command has access um, so that's what it is going to do okay now uh, next one uh, what we are going to do alter database pretty name so in this case let's see tech brothers is pretty long name and i would like to change to the demo so it's not going to change the name of this database so here it's just going to kind of alias uh, here and show me that so what i will do i will say dot l alter database and then uh, I will provide the actual name of the database so that's tech DB and then I will say pretty name and then uh, provide a demo so that's I would like to uh, provide that pretty name once I click right there so what happened now uh, it is saying all the database tech brother pretty name demo syntax error okay so what could be the error let me see if uh, this is the error let's run it it is still saying that uh, there is a syntax error okay uh, tech brothers db t e c h b r o hmm. that shouldn't be case uh, but let me see uh, let's retype it uh, dot alter sorry dot alter and then uh, say database and then uh, we say the name of the database tech brothers db pretty name so and then now we can call it demo okay so let's see if this works uh, i i don't i'm doubted uh, like uh, this should have problem with uh, if i put the single quotes around that could be the case huh? but let's see anyways run this one okay that was the problem so you cannot put single quotes around actual database name so you just have to provide the database name as it is uh, so that's what was a mistake so next time we don't need this one okay so i will put in the notes as well okay and uh, you see that uh, for the demo you have to put the single quotes around it so you see here now it is showing us a demo and say tech versus uh, uh, db inside so that's the actual name and this is our pretty name if i go back to my azure explorer right here i go to home and go to the azure explorer uh, azure data explorer cluster 
and go to the databases uh, it didn't uh, rename anything you see right there that's uh, the same name but it's just uh, here uh, shown as uh, a pretty name that's uh, kind of helpful if you are uh, writing some queries maybe for reporting or something and you want to give a pretty name called reporting so you would know that this is the database you are using for reporting uh, okay now if you want to run multiple scripts uh, on some database um, as of now uh, we do not have any table though. so now you think about that if I would like to run uh, the uh, create table uh, multiple tables on this uh, uh, demo uh, pretty name or tech with a DB name uh, then what I have to do I have to use this command so I will say dot execute database then script and then uh, this is uh, less than sign and uh, pipe sign uh, now after that I can uh, have multiple statements so see right there dot create table table name customer that's a column name and colon uh, integer that's a data type comma your second column name colon string that's a data type so this is how you create the table so if you want to create multiple tables in the database this is how you will do that so you can run multiple script by doing this one so first of all you will put this line and uh, then uh, you will put your scripts here in this uh, case I'm only using a uh, creator you can uh, alter drop and all that as well so we will uh, we can do that later if you uh, once we create it we can uh, drop that as well so I will go through this all uh, how you create the table and definition and everything and what are the data types in the next videos so nothing to worry but as of now you have seen this is how you create a table you're gonna hit uh, run and uh, it's, uh, it should create two tables. See right there for each of the statement, it is uh, showing us uh, this operation has been completed successfully. See right there, completed. And if we see right there, customer and sale table is uh, ready. Now, sometime in SQL and other databases, we are very much interested to see how many tables we have in the database and what are the schema. So here, if I click right there, this is a customer table and customer is integer then customer name is string and in the sale database uh, tables uh, I have sale ID uh, totally wrong spelling and uh, anyways uh, but uh, this is sale ID and this is product name so if I would like to get the list of all tables with their columns and data type how I do that that's very simple you are gonna say dot show database schema that will uh, do it first uh, click on the database you are interested in and then uh, it is going to get the list of tables for you see right there so first of all it is showing you the database level on top of it and then you can see click on this it will give you some information and then it gives you the table you can see right there so right here you can see that the database name table name and all that and then moving forward is going to give you the column names so you can see right there it is saying into 32 that's the integer then you have string that's a column name that's your data type so for tables it's not showing you anything right here for columns or data type and all that but for the columns it is showing you the column names and data type then you have sale table here and then you have two columns for that so that's what we created now in the previous uh, um, we were talking about like if you need to drop the tables you can do that so I'm gonna copy the entire script and then we are going to say drop table let me say drop table customer so we do this and here we will say drop table okay and uh, drop table customer and uh, dot drop actually it is I believe it's a let's see if it is the drop table okay so we are gonna go ahead and execute this and now it has drop two tables so you can see the drop table customer and drop table sale so there is no more table available here so you can run multiple scripts by using dot execute database script and then less than sign and then provide the pipeline and then list of the commands that comes here that you want to use for create tables, drop tables or whatever other uh, commands you want to use it so these are the list of uh, uh, database control commands you will be using sometime uh, and these are very helpful uh, because uh, often you would need to know the list of the tables that you can use uh, this command and uh, need to know the data types of those columns so you can use this as well and if you need to run multiple commands uh, this is very helpful thank you very much for watching and I will put this all the scripts uh, in the description so you can use them I appreciate your if you like uh, to subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next uh, videos